Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Just another video, of course. Um, again, location as well. Probably the same video shoot, same clothes, same feels, just in the same hot sun. But there we go. Um, today, we're looking at Return of the Living Dad by Kate Holman. So this was published in August 1996. So it's part of the Virgin New Adventures again, featuring the Seven Doctor, Chris and Rose, Benny, and Jason this time as well. So a bit of backstory with this one. Uh, so, obviously, I've done Just War, and between those novels, of course, uh, Benny meets, meets a guy called Jason Kane, who he ends up married in the, in the novel, happy ended, then they leave. Chris and Rose start leave, travel, still travel with the Doctor, then go on a couple of adventures, then this, all, this is sort of like a reunion, this is very much, largely to do with um, Benny's father, as we'll get into. So, she, Benny, you know, reencounters her father, just... I think just like out of um, like she really know she's she, the mystery, whole mystery of her personality throughout her, her, you know, some of her life was that one to her, her, her father Isaac Isaac Summerfield obviously was he a coward did he flee did he get killed or what to happen ever, ever happened to him so the answer is finally resolved in this novel uh, a little bit backstory about Kate Holman she's she was the only female author for the New Adventures only ever written for the New Adventures and also from Australia fan writer herself she's done many novels of course she actually's i think this is her fourth one this is this is her fourth novel she did and uh, later did on did uh co-written silver alice with ben aronovich and did the ruby no doors then afterwards she became a movie writer with her husband john from blood an american writer and hasn't really done much since really i think she's now done some other stuff in many in a few years time of course but you know, not not like recent new who stuff really, which is interesting. Really, she should have done that. Indeed, just probably just do her own things really, just like you know, like work on fantasy or something. What well, her and her husband might be doing, who knows? Um, so of course, this came out in '96. At this point, of course, the cover design have changed. Um, obviously, you get a nice little scented picture, and the uh, it's like this, this little wave portal thing, of course, like a time vortex thing on the back, along with the. I guess we call it like a, a different version of the new, of the Seven Doctor logo, and it's just like it's actually really good. I really like the design. It's only been used since Happy Endings to um, until sort of sort of forever actually um, in 1999, 90, 98 actually. Yeah, that sort of design. I really do like that. A lot of people think that uh, really it was what's on to do with like print out work or box and stuff like that. That's pretty good. But obviously for the 50th or Happy Endings, they decided to change it. Going back to Return of the Living Dad, it starts off with the Doctor and you know Chris and Boz are in Sydney in 1996, present day 1996, of course, that time. Chris and Boz are just reacts, of course. The Doctor has, has been, while she had, I, I, of his time really, of relaxing, has been volunteering a hospice, he has. And obviously interacting with patients and everything else. And it's like, he's basically just a janitor, really, just like just doing mopping up, mopping up just volunteer, doing volunteer work, doing the best he can just to really keep him going, really. And Obviously, this leads to, um, I think actually, like a little, I think a little message, of course, because Benny and Jason are, are, are doing some archaeological stuff on a planet called Ucali, and find out that, um, and obviously something stirs up, I forgot how it goes, but it stirs up that she, you know, about to do with Isaac Summerfield, of course, and they sort of go back to the time when he was in battle with the Daleks, of course, and obviously his ship end up being taken through this rift or something and it takes the tires with them so trying to think like where's he going to go where's he going and they end up landed in little Cal H little cadwell in norfolk in 1983 in this little village or town and in this town there's alien refugees which isaac summerfield has been keeping a secret really like keeping them safe again from da various dive bars and everything else he's keeping it safe by doing this um I guess we've got like a coffee shop library thing that he keeps, like just keep everyone, you know, together really. You do get some um, interesting characters like Graham the Orphan Spatula, which is interesting. Um, some fanboy, I think he's a fanboy, I forgot what kind of creature he is really. And you've also got um, Albanix, Albanix, who is a Navarino. Going back to the season 24 story, of course, season 24, is actually, if you ever seen Delta the Bannerman, it's in the first story. If you look at the, um, what do you call them? You know, the passengers for the ride who are going to, to 1959. 
they, you know, some of them are real to be like, uh, just like failing races. And one of them is an Averino, which is, which you see get changed into human form. It's basically like a maggot on hind legs, really. And that's what an Averino is. But apparently, they, they sort of like have, have their own sort of ability to time travel, really. Or they time also have a system, really. It's a bit strange, really. But Albanix himself, who's disguised as this 50s greaser, has decided to, you know, be in League of the Dark. It's like he's sort of gone rogue and trying to do, he's a bit of a mole for them, just to, you know, to make sure to maybe capture, uh, capture them or just take down the refugees who escaped from various homes where the dark invasion has been happening. Also, the doctor's cotton on, they sort of getting close to this. There's a ghost lurking about in the old capital as well. And yeah, and Benny has to come to terms with her father. One thing I've seen that I always remember from this book is when the Seventh Doctor goes to Count Arbonix on his ship on the lake, he ends up on the spaceship and obviously, again, sort of has competitions with him. And in, and, and in doing so, Arbonix pushes him out and dumps him in the lake, in the lake and nearly drowns. So his companions, basically, his four companions, really, basically just, you know, uh, try to save him by resuscitating him in a sleeping bag just to keep him on because he's getting up to hypothermia. And at this point, of course, it's getting close to the end of the Seven Doctor's era, really, because you get the uh, you get the sort of the, the notion of his impending regeneration, which is again a TV movie. But throughout the novels, of course, from '96 to '97, you get that notion that he's get he's getting close to the end. That McCoy's Doctor's getting close to the end, really. So it's a bit like that, really. But it's a really good scene. I really do enjoy it. And obviously, we do get some. Um, there's an, uh, a kind of type of style of his costume that you see, like he wears this a tweed jacket with. Um, I guess we call it bur burgundy waistcoat and everything else. Not the same one he gives in the TV movie, but just something similar. In Bad Therapy, he wears his, he wears exactly the TV movie after in that one, of course. But he wears like a it was like a different like a, a fourth kind version of that in this story, of course. Um, so there we go. But other than that, I sort of really enjoyed it. Really, again, it's like you know, what, if you sort of knew what to expect in Bernie Summerfield's life, you know, it's what it's that sort of thing really, and. Yes, Addis Wall is really just a really good book, really. You finally get to know about Isaac Sunfield, some interesting bits and pieces, really, and Kate Holman's really great as ever, really. I definitely enjoyed this. So, the first ever, ever writing, really, you know, very so witty, interesting, it just keeps you on the, on the edge of your seat, really. It has a bit of tension as well. It works nicely. I really enjoyed it. I did. So, Return of the Living Dad. There we go. Thank you guys for watching.